Did you know that EU itself was created by the Treaty on European Union? Do you know what that treaty is called? It is called the Maastricht Treaty. The Treaty on European Union has non-neutral structure, which means it, is, it established the three-pillar approach to the EU. What are those three pillars? They are first, the community, second, the common foreign policy and security policy, third, justice and home affairs. Interestingly, case law delivered in Luxembourg has moved a lot since 1957. It harmonizes with the creation of the Constitution of for Europe. Supremacy and direct effect are typically viewed as two of the three essential pr principles epitomizing the legal constitutionalism of the Treaty. The third concept is preemption. EU community was never intended to be a de democratic organization. The preamble and the first part of the Treaty of Rome have not been have not used the word democracy at all, and liberty is spoken of like peace as a value to be defended. Indeed, the assembly, composed of members chosen by the national parliaments, was involved in the exercise of legislative power solely as addressee of the information and as a consultative organization. How to legislate, though admittedly only on the basis of proposals submitted by the Commission, belonged to the Council of Ministers, an institution composed paradoxically of the leading members of the national executives. In the case of Van Lien and Luz versus Netherlands administration, the focus is on the direct effect of the community law. But the court also notes that the community is a new legal order under which they establish a new legal order for the benefit of the states have limited their foreign rights and the subjects of which compromise not only member states but, but also their nationals. The essential characteristics of the community legal order which has thus been established are in particular its primacy over the law of the member states and the direct effect of the whole series of provisions which are applicable to their nationals and to the member states themselves. States have limited sovereign rights in order to access the community benefits. Then, in the case of Brenner vs. European Union Treaty, the Constitutional Court clarified that it wouldn't give up its capacity to settle on the similarity of the community law with the essentials of the German Constitution and would keep on practicing an intensity of audit over the extent of community skill. Foundation Khadi vs. Al Barakat International vs. Council case is a rare example of fundamental rights being used to challenge the EU, EU legislation rather than member state legislation. This case illustrates the importance of fundamental rights protection in the EU as constitutional guarantee of forming part of the very foundations of the legal order. The EC as autonomous legal system which is not to be prejudiced by an, an international agreement. Lastly, the EEC which is European Economic Community Treaty which is an international agreement makes up the constitutional charter of the community based on the rule of law as the Court of Justice has consistently held the community treaties. A new legal order for the benefit of which the states have limited their sovereign rights in established versus our wider fields and the subjects of which co compromise not only the member states but also their nationals. Essential characteristics of the community legal order, which also thus have been established, are in particular its primacy over the law of member states and the direct effect of a whole series of provisions which are applicable to their nationals and to the member states themselves.